I you bowen do we put a so we are in another beautiful chapter that's going to be grade 11 science as per the Sri Lankan government school syllabus we have been learning chapter number 1 living tissues under the animal tissues we are going to see nervous tissue today this is going to be video number 10 so let's understand the nervous tissue in a nice way what we will learn in this session yes we will learn the structure of the nervous tissue and then after that how it functions let's get into the subject and see how the structure of the nervous tissue and how it functions You already know there are vertebrates. If you see in front of you the reptiles, fishes, amphibians, birds, mammals, whale, grundog or human, these are all comes under the vertebrates. Now there is something called chordates. All vertebrates are chordates, but not all the chordates are vertebrates. One more time, all vertebrates are chordates. but not all chordates are vertebrates as we had already discussed as we already know that all the vertebrates over here are chordates and some of the animals without backbones those are invertebrates some of them are chordates and some of them are not chordates so why we are learning that we got to understand that one in our next slide why we want to know this information It is an important tissue found in chordate's body they says. This nervous tissue is found and it is a very important one in chordate's body. So they say that all the vertebrates and some in vertebrates are chordate so in those all the vertebrates and some in invertebrates you will find the nervous tissue. Now let's understand the structural unit of nervous tissue. Structural unit of nervous tissue. The structural unit of nervous tissue is nerve cell or neuron. We used to say that the structural unit of nervous tissue is nerve cell or neuron. Now it looks exactly like this when it is there in a diagram so we will understand that one in a very nice way neurons are specialized to transmit impulses this is not a new thing that you are learning look at this person he is getting pinched by one girl if somebody is pinching what will happen to you it will pain it will give pain for you or else you will take away the hands why are you doing that one because the impulses are getting transmitting and it pains or you're avoiding the pain now features of the neurons comes now features of neurons neuron is composed of two parts the first one they are cell body and nerve fibers cell body and nerve fibers cell body golgi body nucleus mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum are found in that neuron let's understand that one where it is cell body you find in this particular place golgi body you find there nucleus it's over there mitochondria is over there and the plasmic reticulum is over there but there is another one that we should understand that is axon axon has a specialized task to do action arises from the cell body as a single process you can understand that it is a single process that is arising from where from the cell body the axon transmits impulses away from the cell body so it's transmitting the impulses away from the cell body 
so from the cell body the signals are going away through this axon you understood that also slender process called dendrites receive stimuli and transmit impulses to the cell body now okay we understood that the transmissions are happening in this direction so it goes on like that all right fine now there is another one happening some signals will come from there okay for the process you want to get the signals for the process you want to get the signals that we are going to understand now look at this okay this is how the transmissions are working inside your body if somebody is pinching that signals are going exactly like that now what happens when somebody is pinching you how the signals are getting transmitted from this particular arm the signals will come to the dendritic dendritic branch and then it will go through the dendrite go through the dendrite and it will go to the cell body and the process will happen now we understood how the things are working now features of the neuron is continuing most of the axons in chordates are myelinated what is that okay look at this it's kind it looks like a chain of sausages isn't it it looks like chain of sausages we are going to further understand that one okay now myelin shield is not continuous and the interrupted places are known as nodes of ranvir you can see that myelin shield is not continuous isn't it is it continuous no it looks like it is not continuous you see that one in that beautiful diagram and there is something called nodes of ranvir now see where is that nodes of ranvir the two joining myelin shield to joining myelin shield there is a place which it, it is getting divided that place is called interrupting place and that's called nodes of ranvir that is also in front of you now the myelin shield increases the speed of transmission of impulses so the myelin shield is very very important it is the one which is increasing the speed of the transmission if somebody has a bad myelin shield that means he is sick so they want to have a very healthy myelin sheath to have a proper transmission it says like if you are getting punched or if you are getting pinched you're getting the pain same time that mean your myelin shield is working properly and it is transmitting the signals to the brain and it gives back the signals very very quickly so that is something very good happening so we understood that one how the things are working here now look at this diagram very clearly when the baby is touching when the baby is touching over here it goes from the sensory neuron and it is coming towards the interneurons and it is goes to the motor neuron and the signals getting completed and from here to here the signal reached from one place to another place signal reached from her hand when she is keeping that hand on the hot pan she gets the heat and she will feel the heat pain and she will feel the burning sensation and she will take away the hands isn't she so to get that feeling there is a signal passing the first one is sensory neuron and then after that it passed that signal to the interneuron and then it passed the signal to the motor neuron and her hand will get the message take the hand away from that particular hot pain then she will take away so these signals are happening inside this beautiful tissue now the functions of the neuron is to receive the information functions of the neurons is what to receive the information from the receptors like i you're looking somebody so that you are identifying that person as this person due to a proper function of the neurons ear you will listen to a noise and you will understand it because of the neurons nose you're sensing a smell at tasting some food or you're feeling hot and cold all due to the neurons those are the functions of what functions of neuron 
Now, or another neuron, the functions of the neuron is to receive the information from the receptors or another neuron and to transmit them to the effector like muscles or another neuron. Very good. So, you're getting the information of pain. You're getting a sensation or you are looking at a beautiful picture and telling it's beautiful. All are happening due to the functions of the neuron. According to the functions of the neuron, they can be divided into three types as follows. You already know that it is there in front of the beautiful image which is like a video sensory neurons the first and the second one is interneuron and the third one is motor neuron so we came to know all those neurons as well there are three types according to the functions the neurons are divided into three the first one is sensory neuron the second one is interneuron and the third one is motor neuron you will learn more about this one in your upper classes now Wonderful, isn't it? So what we understood in this beautiful session, the first one is about the structure of the nervous tissue and we also learned about how it functions. To give a quick recap, the structure of the neurons, we understood that there is a cell body, nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus are there. So the axon is also there as well. This particular place is known as axon hillock. And also dendrites are receiving the information to pass through to the cell body and it goes on the signals like that. And the next one what we learn about is the part sensory neurons, interneurons and motor neurons. Voila. So that is the end of the chapter and thank you so much for being with us and learning like that. Till I meet you in another new chapter and learn more about your subjects in grade 11 general science as per the sri lankan government syllabus please be with us and if you all haven't subscribed to our channel yet please subscribe our channel thank you bye bye take care of yourself